Man has created some of the most incredible structures in the world, but these remarkable feats haven't come without error. Ten of the biggest architecture fails ever. The Savar Building. Considered to be the deadliest garment factory disaster in history, the Savar Building in Rana Plaza in Bangladesh collapsed on April 24, 2013 from structural failure and killed over 1,100 people. When cracks had emerged on the walls the day before on the eight-story commercial building, businesses and a bank on the lower floors evacuated. But the garment workers were ordered to return to work the next day. Causes of the building collapse include illegal construction on a pond, adding three additional stories without modifying the permit, and the building went from being used for commercial to industrial, thus putting more stress on the building. The Citigroup Center. This is a skyscraper that looks like it was built on stilts. The structure was built in 1977 by William Le Messurier, who ran into a problem when the land was shared by St. Peter's Lutheran Church, who was unwilling to move. So, Le Messurier designed a skinny base to the skyscraper with the winds in mind. However, he forgot to take into consideration that there were quarter winds too, and the base was bolted down instead of welded. So, Citigroup arranged of a secret emergency plan with the Red Cross, and in the quiet of the night, workers fixed problems with the building in secret. But should there ever be a strong storm with powerful winds, the skyscraper has a high chance of going down. Walt Disney Concert Hall The Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, California is declared a masterpiece by many artists and designers. However, once noon rolls around, the neighboring condominiums disagree. Because the concert hall has stainless steel on the outside, it reflects sunlight directly into buildings around the area. This has caused residents to go inside, close their curtains, and amp up the air conditioner for a few hours. Residents have claimed that the building causes their homes to overheat and make living very uncomfortable for those several hours. Katowice Trade Hall on January 28, 2006, the roof of the Katowice Trade Hall collapsed with 700 people inside. The cause of the collapse was due to the weight of the snow that had fallen on the structure. Considering the hall is located in Poland, you would think a building built there would be prepared for heavy snowfall, since snow is a regular occurrence. In total, 65 people died and 170 were injured. Lotus Riverside on June 29, 2009, one of the buildings in the Lotus Riverside apartment complex in Shanghai, China, collapsed. The 13-story building collapsed in one piece due to the rain and ended up killing one worker. The building was built with a garage on the bottom and the heavy rains caused the ground to become unstable. Kemper Arena on June 4, 1979, the roof of the Kemper Arena collapsed after a major storm hit Kansas City with winds of up to 70 miles per hour. The cause of the collapse was from the result of rainwater gathering in the middle of the roof as well as a miscalculation of how much the bolts in the hangars could actually hold. Luckily, the arena wasn't in use at the time and so no one was injured. The John Hancock Tower the John Hancock Tower is a 60-story skyscraper located in Boston. The building has been met with numerous problems including windows falling out and crashing onto the pavement below not too long after its completion in 1976. It was determined that the window panes couldn't adjust to the thermal changes. Also, movement from the wind wasn't stabilized, so people on the higher floors were subjected to motion sickness from the intense swaying. Luckily, these problems have since been fixed. Vidara Hotel & Spa the Vidara Hotel and Spa, located on the Strip in Las Vegas, is both stylish and beautiful, with one major fail. The building is pretty much its own ray gun. Because the building is so reflective, the sun rays bounce off the building and into the pool area of the resort hotel, making it very uncomfortable to sit by the pool. The phenomenon has become so popular that it is nicknamed the Vidara Death Ray. Hotel New World in 1986, the Leon Yak building in Singapore crumbled to the ground in less than 60 seconds. The six-story building was home to a hotel, a bank, and a nightclub. Where did everything go wrong? While the architect and engineers behind construction took into consideration the live load of the building, meaning everything the building would hold, they did not take into consideration whether the building could support itself. This made the collapse a guarantee. The Silver Bridge on December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge, which was located in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and spanned over the Ohio River, collapsed in the middle of rush hour traffic. The bridge collapse killed 46 people, which was devastating to the surrounding small towns. The collapse was caused by the failure of a single eye bar in the suspension bridge, proving that the smallest defect can have the deadliest of consequences. 
We hope you found this video tragic and interesting. Here are some other videos we think you might like. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.